Okay, let's do some calculus here. And if you're taking calculus, this hopefully will be a pretty easy uh, practice problem for you. Now, if you um, don't know anything about calculus, uh, stick around for a minute or two because you're going to see that it's not that difficult. Effectively, in calculus, there is a lot of rules that we have to follow. But uh, let me just back up here for a second and... Um, kind of correct myself. I'm not saying calculus is super easy and whatnot. It is a uh, challenging math course indeed. However, a lot of the mechanics and procedures in calculus are not that difficult to understand. And you're going to see here in this particular example problem what I'm talking about. But uh, the problem here is that we have a function. We have this equation here, y equals ln x over x, and we want to find the first derivative. Another way to uh, write this problem is we have y is equal to ln x. We want, to fly, we want to find y prime, which is the first derivative, and you're going to see that we're going to need a particular rule here that uh, hopefully you remember. But if you don't remember any of this stuff, well, I'm going to show you the exact solution, and if you want to pause the video and try this on your own, I would definitely uh, suggest you do so. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabla Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And um, I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But I do not teach calculus. Calculus is beyond uh, what I offer in my math help program. But if you are at the middle school high school, or even college level, and I'm talking like pre-calculus or college algebra in terms of any one of your math courses, I can definitely help you out with any challenges that might be happening. Now, if you are preparing for any particular exam that has math on it, so for example, the GED, which uh, of course if you're doing calculus, um, some of you may already uh, be in a calculus course that don't have your GED. Can, you know, there's crazy things that are going on here. By the way, if you never got your high school diploma, never feel that you're not smart enough uh, in academics or math, okay? You can go as far as you possibly want to go. Uh, but anyways, if you're taking any tests like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Accuplace, or Alex exam, teacher certification exam, you get the idea. I could help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, I have a fantastic homeschool math curriculum and program you definitely got to check out. And if you need some basic math notes, and I'm talking things from pre-algebra to uh, more advanced algebra, algebra and trigonometry, I don't have any calculus notes, I'm going to leave links to my uh, math notes in the description of this video. All right, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and find uh, the first derivative of this function, and this is the notation. We want to find uh, dy dx. We want to take uh, the derivative of this with respect to x, but what we want to do is find y prime. Okay, so again, if you want to uh, not see the solution just yet, pause the video, but I'm going to get into it right now. Okay, so what do we need to recognize? Well, what we're dealing with here is a quotient. Okay, we have something, we have one function being divided by another function. So we want to find uh, the first derivative of a, a situation where there's a quotient. Okay, again, one function divided by another function. So to find uh, the first derivative, we're going to need to uh, focus in on quotients. And of course, we have this handy dandy quotient rule. Now, there's a lot of different ways. Um, you can write the quotient rule. It's the same rule, but I like to use really basic shorthand, something like this. So we have one function f divided by another function g, and we want to uh, find the first derivative of this, and hopefully you're familiar with this uh, notation. This is the easiest notation when you're dealing with uh, first derivative, of course, um, or derivatives in general, but you do need to be familiar with this notation as well. But this is very handy because you can just remember this real quick. Uh, the way you find the first derivative, well, we need uh, two um, first derivative of a quotient is to use the quotient rule. And this is the quotient rule right here. So there's a lot of different rules in calculus. So we have the product rule, the quotient rule, the power rule. There's all kinds of uh, uh, rules. And this is one of the most basic okay, that you need to know. But it goes like this. We're going to take this top function f. We'll find the uh, derivative of that. Then we'll multiply it by that bottom function g. And then we're going to subtract uh, this other function f, and then we're going to multiply by this uh, the derivative of this uh, bottom function, the denominator function, g prime. Okay. Then we're going to put that over the denominator, um, whatever functions in, in the denominator, squared. Okay. So really, it's just following this basic rule. And as long as we're very careful here, we can go ahead and uh, find the first derivative. Now, there's a little bit of a twist here. 
Uh, we do need to know how to find the derivative of ln x uh, in logarithm. So that's a separate little discussion. But this is very um, easy. You'll see that, uh, again, this is a rule that you need to remember. So in calculus, you're going to want to have, and I'm sure you already have, your notes. Uh, oftentimes, too, teachers will give you a ton of different formulas, uh, all the derivatives and integration uh, rules. You know, you need all this stuff. Don't try to guess. Some of the stuff, you know, if it comes to mind, yes, you know, uh, just go by memory. But it's always good to double check that you're using the correct rules. All right, so let's go ahead and apply the quotient rule here so we can get the first derivative of this function here. So again, we have y equals ln x over x. Here is the uh, quotient rule. So let's go ahead and follow this thing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the numerator here. We're going to take the um, first derivative of the top function, okay? So what's the top function here? ln x. So we're going to take the first derivative, and all I'm going to do is just, I'm going to uh, plug this in, and I'm going to just put my little prime there. That's just an indication for me to find the first derivative. I'm, not go I'm only going to set this problem up. I'm not going to actually start... Uh, uh, doing the work here because we want to set this up according to the quotient rule and then we'll do the work. All right, but now let's continue on. So it's going to be the first derivative of that top function. So I need to take uh, ln x prime and then I'm going to multiply it by that bottom function, which of course is g, which is x right here. Okay, now I'm going to subtract that by what's next in this rule. Well, this is just f, so this is the top function, ln x. Okay. And then I'm going to multiply it by the derivative of the bottom function, okay, which is x. Okay, so we're going to have x prime right there, and then that's all going to be over the bottom function, or I'm calling the bottom, it's the denominator, uh, and i got to square that. Okay, so it's g squared, so in this case it will be x squared. All right, so if we do this, well, we will have taken the... Uh, uh, derivative with respect to x, we're find, uh, we would uh, be finding y prime, uh, the first derivative of this function. But just double check before you um, do anything like this, you know, double check that you plugged in everything correctly. Use this simple notation, and now we'll go ahead and actually simplify this. Okay, so let's go ahead and focus on the numerator here. So I have the first derivative of ln x. Well, uh, the first derivative of ln x is 1 over x. Okay, that's just a, uh, a rule that you need to know um, how to find the derivatives of logarithmic functions. Okay, but it's, again, it's not that difficult. Uh, you should have um, your little uh, cheat sheet, your little reference uh, sheet with all this stuff here. So don't guess. But as you do more and more practice problems, you'll just remember this anyway. So ln x, the first derivative of that is 1 over x. I'm going to multiply it by x. Okay. And now we're going to move on here. We're going to have ln x, and we're going to multiply it by the derivative, first derivative of x, and of course that is just going to be 1. Okay, you can see I have that written right there. And that's going to be all over x squared. Okay, here is our denominator. Now this is just basic simple algebra. Okay, so what's 1 over x times x, and we'll write it this way. 1 over x times x, or x over 1, of course, is just going to be... 1, okay? So that is 1 right here, minus ln x times 1. Of course, it's just going to be ln x over x squared, and this is the solution. Okay, so how did you do? Did you get this right? Well, uh, I would say this is a pretty easy problem in terms of uh, basic calculus. Now, if you're watching this and you never study calculus, well, this is what calculus um, a lot of a typical calculus problem would be uh, be like. But again, this is more on the easier side. But again, a lot of this stuff in calculus is an application of rules. Okay. But if you got this all right, and if you didn't even have to look at any of your cheat sheet notes and your reference notes and just remember the quotient rule and remember uh, the derivative of, L, of ln x, well, that's pretty awesome. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and give you a happy face with a good old 1985 Mohawk and A plus. 100%, uh, and uh, let me go ahead and throw on a few stars just to, so you can feel extra special uh, today, but nice job, okay? So you definitely got to know how to uh, take the derivatives of functions in calculus. That's one of the most, um, you know, main core concepts you learn in calculus is to find the derivatives, and then, of course, the other aspect of calculus is integration, differentiation and integration, okay? 
All right, but uh, hopefully this was a good little practice prompt for you. And if that was the case, go ahead and consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. Been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic to advanced math. So I do stuff from arithmetic all the way up to calculus. But um, if you like my teaching style, check out my uh, calculus playlist on my YouTube channel. I got more calculus videos and I'll be posting more in the future as well. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.